<laughs> All right, nice to meet you, Elliot. How's it going? You okay? Yeah, Come on, shake your hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm with Elliot right here with his Evo 6. Yeah, that's right. right. Six, yeah, GSR. So, wow, absolutely crazy. So, just to give a quick insight, um, Evo 6s um, got the recognition from Tommy Mackinnon. He won his fourth World Rally Championship. So this is the, the Evo 6 um, which he's got right now. So he's going to talk us through. So how much is this running? 375 at the minute. Um, but it's only got 330 foot pound of torque. Wow. To save the rods because they're not too strong. Talking about that, tell us the engine spec. Have you got it to that much better? Um, the original engine, unfortunately, mm. I blew it up. Put a rod through the block, um, so I ended up getting a second engine from a breakers that I know. Yeah. Um, and that ended up being an MR engine. I wasn't sure about that at first. Uh, I was sold it as a just a normal uh, Evo 8 engine. Mm. Um, ended up being an MR, so it worked in my favour. So I had um, I got that to the to the garage where the car was. Yeah. Um, started doing a timing belt kit, um, oil pump, water pump, usual stuff, and I found out that the uh, balance shaft um, had seized inside. Um, luckily, there was not no internal damage. It was just damage yeah. to the belts, um, a bit of schwarf in the engine, um, yeah. but it had not gone through the uh, through the pump or anything like that. So there's nothing in the oil system. Mm. Um, so I ended up having to get the full bottom end rebuilt, stripped. Um, got King's racing bearings um, on the rods and the crank. Um, obviously, a new oil pump, water pump. Um, I had to buy a new oil cooler because the obviously. Just in case there were any swarf in the oil cooler, yeah, don't want it going yeah. back through the system and messing up the engine after it's had a fresh build. Um, and then obviously, I had to get an Evo eight or nine, or seven, eight or nine clutch because uh, the flywheels are different. Yeah. So more expense. So I've got an RTS organic Evo nine clutch with a, a billet flywheel. Yeah. Um, which is a, it's good for I think I said four, four fifty, four sixty horsepower. Um, wow, near enough. So it's more than enough for that short now. Yeah, yeah. So you've actually got this car to a standard where it's, it's got the power that it's needed and it's reliable to handle yeah, that power. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm happy where it is now. Um, okay. I right. would like to put an Evo 980 series turbo on it, um, but I have to put some rods in it for that. Okay, um, that's very interesting. That is. So yeah. So um, what are you doing for? I mean, what exhaust is it running? Because I heard it's, it. It's got uh, a Ganador. Um, cat back, um, which is apparently quite rare, mm. but it's really heavy um, and it, it hangs quite low under the back of the car. Yeah, obviously yeah. not new, new shots. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. So I had to get a silencer taken out of that because it was yeah. quite restrictive. Yeah, um, and then I've got a JMF uh, exhaust manifold, which yeah. was a uh, like American brand. Okay, but that was quite expensive, that's like 900 quid. Um, I've got a CTEC modular downpipe, and then I've just got a cheap. Um, these M2 Motorsports decap pipe, so it's all. That, that, how much that cost you? Does that exhaust on its own? Uh, probably about seventeen hundred quid, eighteen hundred quid, <laughs> you know, all included, with everything, the manifold and the lot. Jeez, that's crazy. Um, I did buy a titanium, trust titanium cap yeah. back for it. Yeah. Um, got it off eBay, but unfortunately, when I turned it over the first time, all yeah. the baffles were broken up inside, and it was rattling, and it sounded, it sounded horrible. So I'd send that back, and then wow. I. I'll put this one back on. Okay, so, okay. Right then, uh, talk us through about the handling. How yeah. does it handle? What have you got? Um, originally, when I got the car, it had some KYB and USR shocks, which are okay. like a nice OEM upgrade. Keeps yeah. the ride height where it is, um, but they're just simple dampers, no mm. disability or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I got some yellow speed 
uh, coilovers from um, six to one. You heard of Adam? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. From there, um, give me a little discount on that. Help <laughs> me out. Um, I had a lot set up. Um, yeah. It's got um, Super Bowl bushes on the rear. One sec. Jeez. Don't worry about it. Welcome to Bradford, man. <laughs> so uh, we're at the, the handling, you got to the coilovers. Yeah. Um, it's got Super Bowl bushes on yeah. the rear. Not touch the fronts because they're all in good nick. Yeah. Um, I had to take the an abrasion off underneath to get the, the downpipe on because it was so, so thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not substantial. Nothing, okay. Nothing's changed with that. Um, and then I've got some Evo 6 RS front and rear strut braces. Ah, um, yeah. The like alloy ones. Um, I think that's about it for handling, really. I've okay. Got a, I've got a mines uh, H brace coming soon. Yeah, yeah. I've got that. That's, that's on its way in the post. So what are you doing for one. stopping power? Standard. Standard? Yeah, mate. Standard four pop rainbows. They look very uh, clean. Fully rebuilt. Yeah. Uh, repainted, sealed. Ah, all yeah. That. Um, stop this and pads for now. Uh, I'm okay. gonna upgrade them soon because they're getting a bit squeaky and they get, they're not. They're not yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them on because they're actually quite good brakes. Okay, interesting. Can't see let him go. This guy, man. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. We're pretty much covered to be honest. <laughs> how do you do? How do you do that? <laughs> yeah. Sausage. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's alright. It's okay. okay um, uh, in terms of interior. Uh, standard interior seat wise. Uh, yeah. I've got a keys racing uh, wheel that I got from Ningun, Japan. Got that imported over. Wow. Uh, I've got an NRG snap off boss. Okay. Uh, and then I've got a Cooler Works shifter. No, uh, uh, that shifter. Tell me yeah, about it's that cool. shifter. It's cool. Why did you get that? I've seen them all with the, the VW guys getting the CAE shifters and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I just thought I'd get one for this. I mean, I've not. Up to this point, I've not seen anybody else with one. Yeah, um, yeah, nah, quite definitely. Quite a few other weights and yeah. they've got them in. Um, but it's changed the car. It's changed the car. Wow. Um, other than that, I've got a Evo 6 RS radio blank. Mm. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, not much else. Okay. Really stock inside. Sounds good. Okay then, should we take it out for a spin then? Let's do it, man. Okay let's then, it. let's do it then. <laughs> okay, so Elliot's gonna start the car with his remote. <laughs> no way! <laughs> this is crazy! <laughs> Japanese gadgets. <laughs> Duh, Japanese all the way. shift you get the, yeah yeah do you know what i mean that was terrifying that was <laughs> yeah well 370 brake yeah that was fast yeah. uh, apparently these are 1.3 tons are they in terms of weight? i think so about 1275 something like that yeah they're not they're not too they're not too heavy wow that that was that was mind-blowingly quick that was
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that is fast. It wow. doesn't feel like 375, does it? No, it feels much faster. Gosh. So was it like that when you first got it? No, before mate. Before the no, motor, no, no, was no, it no. before? Do you know what? To be honest with you, as a standard car, they're actually, they're actually good. They're actually, they feel good. Yeah. Um, not as aggressive as that, but obviously. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so in terms of the that gearbox, man, it just looks so good. How's the yeah. shifting? How, is it easy? Is it tough? It is, it is easy, yeah. Um, the standard one's good. It's got a nice feel to it. Yeah. But it's not, it's not like that. I mean, a lot of people have commented on the, yeah. the group saying, oh, don't get that. But it's been there's some cars you. that I know are running five, 600 horsepower with these kind of things in. Yeah. No problems. No so way. 375, not going to be a problem. So how's the, the clutch and everything? Has it ever given you problems? Uh, no. Obviously, the reason behind me changing the clutch originally yeah. to the nine clutch is because of the eight engine. Oh, yeah. Other than that, I wouldn't have changed it. Um, okay. Because obviously, you need to have a different clutch, really close a ratio though, five speeds. But the standard box, I think they can take upwards of 500 horsepower before you have to, you know. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, change of course. it or change any internals or anything like that. I upset um, the guy in a brand new M3 the other day on the way home from work. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the F80s. The yeah, 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 Obviously, yeah. if it were, if it had been tuned, it would be a different yeah. ball game, but. He gave him a run for it. He gave him a, yeah, yeah, he couldn't get away from it, obviously. No like, way. Yeah, he couldn't get away. It's old technology, you got to yeah. remember it's 20 years old. You know, oh. that technology. Plus, it's been hanging underneath the car for 20 years. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're going to yeah. they're gonna go wrong. I was going to buy a cheap car and put this yeah, away yeah, for, yeah. for winter, but it's a rally car, man. I <laughs> want to use it in the snow. I want to I want to try. I want to use it in the snow. Wow, that's pride and passion, says you all there, literally. No, that's I crazy, just, that is. I just want to uh, I want to get the most out of it, so I don't really... Yeah. It's good in the wet. It's good in the dry. I've not had it in the snow yet, but, but I can imagine. What, what are you doing for tyres? Tyres, I've doing? got... Uh, Bridgestone Potenza RE003s. Wow. Um, they actually came on the car from Japan. They were what, literally what brand new. What size are they? Uh, 17, so 225, 45, 17s. Yeah. Um, I'm actually looking at a set of Evo 8 wheels ah. with some 88 R tyres on. Um, end cars? Yeah, the Evo 8 end cars. Yeah, they're perfect. Yeah. I mean, it is for, they're, it's they're a boost, boost build as well, so 4,500 RPM. Yeah. And I think it's running about 0.7, 0.8 bar, and then yeah. you let the clutch up. Have you ever, have you ever uh, found out what it does for 0 to 60? No, but standard, uh, I think... 4.8 seconds. Is that what they are, standard? Yeah. Well, standard, they're 276 bit cross power, aren't they? Yeah. The way it moved to the last powers. This thing KM, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was my yeah, well, I took a lad out yesterday. Yeah. He detailed the car and I took it for a blast. Mm. And he thought we were doing 140 mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, he were like, that's what I thought. Oh, fucking hell, that's faster. <laughs> wow. And I think that works out at like 80 or 90 yeah, mile an hour. Yeah, it's, not, yeah, it's not all yeah. that. <laughs> I'm gonna die today. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that, that handled really well. You're literally sliding across the bend. Yeah, the, that's the AYC. It stops you going past 45 degrees, kind of, you know, that yeah, kind of yeah, angle. Yeah, of course. It stops you going past there. It's quite good. It's quite good. Yeah, definitely that. I know exactly how the car's gonna go, but. Well, this is it. Like, you feel, it gives you confidence. The yeah, car. yeah, yeah. I've driven some fast rear wheel drive cars and you think oh I don't, you know I don't, I don't really want to go around here yeah, yeah, go course, a bit too yeah. quick and crash it or whatever yeah you can't this you know what this is going to do that's why that's why this you know they're so fun to drive oh, yeah. GT4. Oh, wow, that is nice yeah man they're, they're, they're the rally cars yeah so i think obviously the way this is now it's perfect it's perfect yeah. it's fast you can enjoy it do you know what i mean it, i mean in the bends this is an animal this is oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow man, that is crazy that is. Okay. Right. So yeah. this is the first time 
anyone's driven it. Really? In, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything. No, crazy. no, that's good, man. You got a 700 bit skyline. You obviously know what you're doing. <laughs> I, look, I still look after that, not the, the, the way Ricky drove that was flipping out, he's a driver yeah, and a half. Yeah, he's sick, innit? He's it? a sick. driver and a half. But nah, that's, that, that's, that's the next level that is. I don't have the yeah. experience the way he does it. I am just want to enjoy how the car drives, that's, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm about. But it's about, at least you can see Madwin, can't you? you yeah, know, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, you yeah, yeah definitely. What do you wow, think that's tough, that is. It is, innit? It takes some getting used to that. Is it, uh, the clutch is it like... No, it's alright, yeah, it's just... Full big gas. Yeah, yeah, you're alright, man. It's all good. Oh, that's easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not like... Hey! It just... It's not like... Uh, it's not it's not mad at all. Yeah. The gear, what do you think to the gears? Oh, like nice. getting used to the jerking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. how the control valve. Yeah, that's quite short, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wow! <laughs> just, it just adds experience, though, doesn't it? Do you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, obviously the wheels here, yeah, yeah, the gears yeah, and that, it feels nice, gear, man. Five gears? Yeah, five, mate. Yeah, wow, yeah. that's nice! See why it is good. It's a good daily. Perfect. As daft as it sounds, and he was a daily, but perfect. It's nice to drive in it. It's, it's oh man, it's perfect. There's there's nothing more you can do to this car to make it any better. No, it's, it's perfect. Obviously, I'd like a little bit more power, but sitting here, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it does. <laughs> it, it, it is really fast. It's literally really fast. And obviously, you've already showed me. I don't need to show people how fast this is. Me being in a passenger was more than enough to me to me for me to know how fast this car really is. And yeah, yeah. there's no like it's just surprising. This car is nothing but it just surprises you. But well, that's what I mean, it don't feel like an old car, does it? <laughs> Hold it in longer, keep it in keep, yeah. keep it in gear longer. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just terrified of this car. <laughs> Literally, the skyline, you can't give it as much because it just wants to spin everything. Yeah. But with this, you can comfortably everything's give it on, everything. Everything's on the floor, isn't it? Yeah. And I know it's, my confidence is 
beyond. Like, That's what I mean. Everything gets put to the floor. I'm though. The so tough driving in. this car. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm just mind blown right now. But yeah, oh man, this is by far the best car I've ever driven in my life. Like, yeah, actually, I have to say that. Literally, probably the best car I've ever driven. It's, a, it's my favorite car I've ever owned. Without <laughs> a doubt. I'm out for words. Literally, I'm out for words. This, this car is just so perfect, and it's it's shocking for me to know. Uh, this car's had, look, after you rebuilt it, it's had no problems, mm. and and for me to drive it, I can tell that like, this it's like a new Evo. Yeah, yeah, it feels it's fresh, like doesn't it? It's proper fresh. There's no wow. knocks and bangs, nothing. And it's reliable, and the lag, there's no lag at all. It boosts in every gear. And like, you know, what? I actually love this gearbox. <laughs> I think you need to get that, mate. You need yeah, to get yeah, that. Yeah, on yeah, yeah, definitely. I love it. I think I'm definitely gonna look to get one. Take some getting used to, but as soon as yeah, yeah, but once you get out, what's yeah, going yeah, on? It's yeah. good, man. Because the good. normal ones, sometimes you can slip out, but with this, once you get it in, it's in. Yeah, but now, um, guys, um, if you want to let people know about this car, shout out to anybody. Uh, Richard Emmy Motorsports in Bradford. He did all the work, man. He's a, he's a wizard. He's an absolute wizard. Dude. So anyone got any problem with Subarus, go there. Wow. Anything else? Just him? Yeah, just that man. <laughs> well, GR Performance for the maps. He's a, he's good, man. He's a wizard with the mapping. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Guys, guys at GR Performance, yeah. All right then. Uh, yeah. So Elliot, your Instagram? Uh, it's easy underscore erc. Okay, if everybody hear that, write down in the description. Follow him up because he's got a lot more plans for this Evo. And this Evo is by far one of the best Evos ever driven. And uh, appreciate Thank you so much for having me. No worries, uh, bro. It's been this a pleasure. Car. And literally, this is probably one of the best um, experiences I've had. And it's given me the opportunity to drive this. And an Evo might be coming on the channel soon because of Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> But no, literally, thank you so much. That tight Yorkshireman thing's not true, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it, I, w I won't not let you drive it. But nah, thank you very much. No problem. And uh, that's it. So guys, don't forget for the new people, subscribe to your channel, um, share this video out. It's probably one of the probably one by one of the best videos that I'm going to be editing because by far I love it to bits. So uh, again, subscribe. Share, like, the drop any comments for even evil followers. Drop the comments down below what you found. Okay, that's it. Sweet, uh, man. Done. Sweet, man.